Hi guys, it's Faye back for yet another video related to video AI. So if you haven't seen our previous video, click right here. And in this new one, I'm going to walk you through the powerful Vidi content assistant. So Vidi, which is a pretty cute name, came right out of video AI. Vidi, the AI content assistant is designed for multiple platform use. What does it mean? You can use it to create show notes, SEO optimized blog posts, LinkedIn posts, social posts in general, tweets from long form videos, and even suggestions for new content. So I'm super curious. I want to give you the first look right here and let me know in the comments below how you like Vidi and what else you would like to see from this tool. I'll see you at the end of the video. Let's dive right in. What does it look like for Vidi? It's pretty cute. It's currently in beta. So right off the bat, you can give it several prompts all based on the videos we uploaded and talked about in our previous video. So you can see that you can play it as well. If you don't remember what was being processed. Now, what if I tell Vidi I want it to create show notes from this video? Pretty cool. So it just continues to generate and I have a little edit button here too. So here are the draft show notes for the video. The video is very short, less than six minutes. So Faye introduces herself, Adobe Express Ambassador, access to stock imagery, top three reasons. First of all, that's most important. And then it lists the reasons. Access to stock imagery, easy resizing for multiple platforms, AI features for editing videos and images. I agree. And specifically, I also like these bullet points of diving deep into summarizing different features. So the next prompt is all about writing a LinkedIn post for this video. I have a lot to say about the best practices of LinkedIn posts, but in general, I would recommend that you start with something that's really compelling. And here, what I do enjoy is that it makes a call out to the product I'm talking about, why I choose and then there's a dollar amount. So using Vidi, it is very compelling that there are so many benefits, yet it's only $9.99 a month. So from here, how I would do it is I typically wouldn't just copy and paste. I want to go through the content and tweak a few things and really make it mine. So what do you think? Remember, there are placeholders such as the bottom here, YouTube video link, and don't forget to fill it out before you hit publish on LinkedIn. Now I have another idea I want to generate. Here are three potential new video ideas that you can prepare next. Let's see, a tutorial video show, showing step-by-step -step how to use Adobe Express to resize images and videos. So one of the features I did talk about. And you could also demonstrate resizing a landscape uh, image into a square for Instagram or vertical for TikTok. Second idea, a video reviewing, comparing the best stock photo and video sites, analyzing the quality price. Okay, all right. Number three, a video focused specifically. Number three, a video focused specifically on the AI and machine learning capabilities within Adobe Express, showcase image editing features, letting you add or remove elements from photo using AI. Not bad. Okay, there is a fourth idea that I want Vidi to tell me. Create an SEO optimized blog post from this video. If you're getting a little stuck changing the prompt, Make sure that, you know, you hit enter twice. I noticed with this beta version in particular, the first time around, I don't get something back right away and I hit enter again and here comes the results. Here goes an SEO optimized blog post. Cool. So what do I think? If you have seen our blog post, by the way, I'm going to showcase this very detailed walkthrough of video AI. I highly recommend that you check it out. I will include a link in the description below, but you also notice that we like to open with an intro imagery to break things up. I love my producer, Herman, always including a table of contents. I love it. You can jump it to specific sections. Speaking of which, for each section, we do include H2s as well, as well as bullet points. Why I mentioned that is typically within AI tools, including Vidi, it doesn't always call out, you know, how you're going to use the headers, H1s. H1 should be reserved for the um, blog post title, of course. But all of these things should be H2. So for instance, introduction, then benefit one, in this case should be H2, and benefit two should be 
H2 as well, so forth and so on. So make sure that you format these blog posts. So please let me know in the comments below what you think of this feature, other prompts that you're thinking about. I would love to know and experiment those myself. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the next video. I'm going to see you there. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it too.